You also said that when um, this happened with the bankruptcy, it really got you to sit back down mm -hmm. and go, hey, what's really important to us? What are we looking to build here? And let's see where we go from here. So tell us a little bit about that process for you guys. Yeah, yeah. It was, it felt like, um, it did feel like a process of, of letting go. And, you know, we had to sort of, everything kind of was, felt like it was taken away, you know, or everything that we had felt that we were creating had kind of died and burnt down almost. So I feel like it was this beautiful. Sorry, <laughs> it felt like, dog. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it felt like a clean slate had been created. Um, and once we surrendered to that and accepted that, we actually could see the beauty in that as well. And we got to go, okay, we have this clean slate. We have, we are kind of in this position where we have no debts. Um, it, it allowed us to really think about what we wanted to create from there. And, and yeah, just start again. And I think that was it, it taking everything away. When you kind of have that beautiful clean slate, you really work out what's important to you. And for me, the, the thing was that was most important was our family and that freedom to actually be with our family and to be the ones to bring up our family, but in our health, they were like the two major things that really felt so um, powerful at that time. Yeah, that's really amazing. And I love that because I often feel that we attach a lot of things to money. You know, we, we, we say, oh, when we have money, we'll be happy. Or when, mm -hmm. you know, it's always when we have. And it's also really coming back to understanding what we already have mm -hmm. and valuing that right now.